Hey guys, we're gonna show you our five day cruise from Fremantle to Exmouth. First is our boarding procedures. So the three things you need to do. First is download, print, and put your luggage tags within your bag so that you'll be able to drop them off during the check-in. Download the Verify and PL app for your identity and COVID certificates and your cruise card that will serve as your wallet whenever you wanna buy things inside the cruise. After you've onboarded the cruise, you'll be lead lead to the hallways where it actually has two divisions, the right wing and the left from the left wing for the for the odd number room, room cabins and the right wing for the even number room cabins this ship is pretty big it does have about 15 decks on board the upper decks are usually for the recreational the mid ones are usually for the rooms but you have an elevator to use during your stay now during in a room it's a small interior cabin it's pretty complete but it's very small but it's i actually like it because it has your own private toilet that has complete toilet trees. They've got hot water for your shower. They've got all the shampoo and conditioning you need. And um, inside you've got your television, a closet and a wardrobe and a small refrigerator for anything that you want to store in. The bed is pretty comfortable as you can see my partner's already in there but they've also got an extra bed to the left whenever you want to do. Now, in, up in the upper deck, upper deck is a really cool place to do because this is where you can see all the views. Um, uh, luckily for us, it's not too busy when we onboarded the ship, but and there's a lot of spaces for everybody to chill out and read a book and just enjoy the view. Now, before we actually formally head off, you can see that on our first day of cruise, a lot of people are actually partying in the middle deck doing YMCA dancing. And here we go. We're off our way to Exmouth on our first day journey. And uh, it's a beautiful sunset scenery here. And we decided to stay on in the upper deck and watch the big screen where they play a lot of music and videos. And you can see people are just here swimming and having a good time. Now for food, everything in um, piano cruises are for free. Uh, for lunch, breakfast, and dinner, and they've got a big variety of food from Asian continental, including the desserts that they currently have. Some of my favorites are probably the Asian food that have this very nice noodle mix and some pork and beef options, including steamed rice, which I really, really love to eat. Um, besides the food that they offer, they also have a big variety of desserts that you can choose from, from fruits to jellies to cakes as well. Now, one thing that I really, really um, admire about this cruise is that they never run out of food. So every time you visit the during lunch, dinner, they always have a full serving and they never try to control whatever food you want to take. It's just there for grabs. The variety of pastries that they have are really, really uh, delicious. I've practically tasted each one of them as well. But um, for me, I like pancakes and fruits during breakfast, especially for lunch. Now, if you want to do room service, you can also order like this one. Now, some of the fine dining complimentary free options for you is what is the, a waterfront hotel, a waterfront restaurant located on the fifth floor. Um, it presents you Australian modern cuisine. In the sixth floor, they've got the Agnolos, which is an Italian fine dining and a dragon movie which is an Asian fine dining but both of them are completely for free uh, for me my favorite probably the dragon lady just being biased to the Asian taste bud I really liked it but inside Angelos you can see this cool reception uh, we're the first one to book our table we're glad to be delighted with this main course and this really really nice dessert in the dragon lady the Asian restaurant we did a lot of different kind of Asian food, but it was quite tasty, especially the beef curry here, which I really find really tasty and delicious. Now inside the midship of the board is the reception on the fifth floor, but from the floors fifth to eight, you can see the entire atrium hall or the main hall where all everything you can do from shopping to chilling out, from getting a bar, getting a drink from the bar and just, you know, just roaming around and trying to relax for for people who like shopping they've got a tax sorry they've got a duty-free tax um, area here that you can buy some really good brands and goodies like watches or clothes like Pandora is here Guess is here Swarovski is here so it's a very cool items that you can grab on here when you're on board the ship now other Parts of the cruise ship on the atrium hall would be some nice window areas that you can sit on and read a book and just try to relax if you don't really want to go out 
in the main decks where sometimes this wins can be a little bit strong um, but it's kind of like my favorite area inside the cruise ship some of the bars and restaurants that they have inside is the Explorer Hotel where they usually held a lot of nightly events. Um, this one is a really, really cool design inside. It's very cozy and they also serve here a lot of good drinks. Now, one of my favorite areas inside the cruise ship is the Marquee Hall where they actually show a lot of good entertainment during the night. Like, I did catch one of the shows with a comedy slash a puppet master during the other night. And it featured, it was really, really good. First and foremost, it was really funny. And this hall can really um, gather a lot of people during the night. So I'm quite surprised that they have this one. This is part of the front part of the ship. Now, the eighth floor is the casino area. Uh, the casino choices are very small. So I just tried these lot machines. Now they also have small bar areas inside the room, inside the ship. And but my favorite is this blue room because it's very dark and cozy. They've got a kind of like a variety of drinks that they served here, uh, and not a lot of people stay inside, so which makes it really very quiet and calm. More of the um, main area, the atrium. I can show you here the reception area. If you need anything, you can ask them. Uh, they've got an ATM machine here. If in case you're paying things by cash and you want to be topping up your cruise card, this is where you want to be going located in the fifth floor. Now, upon arriving Exmouth, we were given a chance to actually disembark and go to Exmouth physically using a tender boat. And it kind of looks like this. It's a small boat as part of the ship. And they transport people from the actual cruise ship down to the island of Exmouth, which is really cool. Although the waves are pretty rocky, we did enjoy everything. Um, it wasn't really scary at all. And going back, you're also going to be picked up with the tender boats in the island of Exmouth and going back to the cruise ship itself. At night in the cruise ship, it's going to be a lot of partying. You can see here tonight, it's going to be the Gatsby night. And you can see a lot of people dressing up and just really dancing their way through fun. Uh, it's really, really nice I see that everybody's having a good time. Now for kids, they do have a small arcade area that kids love enjoying. And playing a lot of cool arcade games we tried out ourselves. In the morning when we woke up, we were greeted by this very serene sunrise. It is really 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 nice to see um, so obviously not a lot of people get up that early but we're the few lucky ones who did because after this one we're gonna go straight and grab some breakfast for the night now during the night as well you can see a lot of good photos here that I've taken it shows you how really cool the cruise itself looks like but during the day you can expect that it's gonna be busy in the upper deck because everybody's just having drinks or swimming in the main area now the overall cruise was a great experience for me and my partner although the last day of our uh, cruise was a little bit rocky and my partner did become seasick but I think it's a wonderful experience and the staff and crew of Pino, Pino Cruises were really amazing and we can't wait to go to our next cruise.